Hey guys, so I made another build that sort of has good damage if enemies don't move too much, but it doesn't really have much defenses. So I got tired of playing this build and I, in the end, didn't even like the way I was doing damage because this is, um, by the way, I never really played with the Elk Walter cremation, which explodes corpses that you can create with Anev. So you essentially, the base idea is just to push the level of Anev as much as possible like with Empower, with Alcohol, the NF as well for the more or increased corpse life uh, and then just in general increase that corpse life as much as possible and then cremation just doesn't even scale well with the cremation levels so you actually scale NF levels rather than cremation levels but the cremation is doing damage each projectile can explode multiple corpses when it lands so you don't even need to worry about having multiple cremations uh, but it does matter where you create corpses and where the cremation is and where the projectile shoots. So if if some enemy, especially a fast moving enemy, goes towards you, you create corpses, you create cremation. And then you want to kind of, you know, dodge. You don't just want to face tank. As soon as you start moving like backwards, well, you need to recreate corpses. You need to recreate cremation again. And that part really annoyed me too much. And also this is... Not really optimized build, I just kind of got addicted, not, not really addicted, I just I, I just wanted to see bigger numbers in POB, so I just kept trying to figure out how to squeeze out more damage. And in the end, without too much problems, I could make it 1 million average hit damage per corpse explosion. And you can create uh, 5 corpses multiple times per second. So, uh, do the math, potential damage... I'm not sure how many explosions can overlap against single target, it really depends where the target is. Another weird thing is that corpse explosion from cremation is not a spell. So anything that increases spell damage or spell crit chance is not going to work. So you also need to scale it a bit in a different way with global like crit chance, uh, global crit multiplier. You don't benefit from spell damage as well. But I assume enemies are also unable to suppress that damage. So in the end, I pushed, at least in PUB, I, I'm still not fully leveled up and min-maxed. In the end, I pushed a nerf corpse life to 114,000. By the way, you can see that in PUB now. When you go to the calc tab and a nerf, you can actually see it in here. So you just take that number and pretty much enter manually uh, in the enemy corpse life in here. For comparison, like look at spell damage. This is per projectile. Each projectile will do this amount of damage per hit doesn't look good but once you switch to the corpse explosion it gets much much higher and that's without the bottle phase select with that you get like one mil but like i said the build the items that i use are not like fully optimized i'm very squish against hairs and this is inquisitor i do believe that i reach almost 100 percent crit chance with the bottle fade i pretty much yeah with the bottle fade i do reach 100 percent crit chance with the corpse explosion and i am using corrupted soul to split the damage taken between life and yes because inquisitor really works well with that because then your life region becomes also yes region and you double dip on, on that life region so yeah like there's not much to say i'm also using the alice malefaction this is uh, in, in the body animal, I'm using cremation because I wanted to have 100% chance to explode corpse and also boost the other supports, which is still not min-maxed. You don't really want blue circuits in the alas, you want pretty much just green because I'm not using Empower because Empower doesn't really give much damage because Empower would give like 0.1% extra explosion damage, which doesn't really add much. So yeah, I, I'm not even sure if the ally is really needed. You probably could achieve that uh, good explosion rate with just multiple geysers, uh, shooting projectiles, exploding. Or you could use maybe a nav for uh, in inside the alas. So phantasmal cremation is linked to increased critical strike chance because Inquisitor needs crit chance to ignore a resistance as crit damage, which I'm still leveling. Uh, cruelty, awakened LA focus, uh, and energy leech. I am also using a replica Dragon Fangs flight amulet to give uh, levels to a nerf. Like I said, a nerf levels matter a lot. And a nerf for me is level 19 still. It is phantasmal a nerf because phantasmal gives corpse spawn to have increased maximum life. It is linked to uh, GMP because you want to spawn multiple corpses. It is limited to 10 corpses allowed. Uh, faster casting because you want to create them as fast as possible. And hands to boost the quality of a nerf. 
and power to boost the level of an F and then power charge on grid. This is just like your delta thing to generate power charges for more crit chance. But I actually may not even need more crit chance for some extra damage using the held rings. Uh, increase fire damage and increase buff effect. Um, and by the way, the cool explosions that you see are coming from the held of ash and I'm using uh, the spare held effect. This is the expensive held effect. It's like 220 points or something like that. But after playing with that effect, it looked cool, like everything keeps exploding. It's like Armageddon, end of the world kind of scenario happening. But at some point, all those flashes, like constant flashes, started to irritate my eyes. I would prefer like one big explosion, just the whole screen explodes or like chain explodes. But now it just keeps exploding and exploding and it's kind of annoying actually. For the build, I just wanted more life and attributes, the more strength and intelligence I get also the more global crit chance I get because of Inquisitor. And also when you balance your attributes, you can also get shock immunity, ignite immunity and I am getting freeze immunity from the Panton uh, upgraded power as, as always. The helmet, gloves and boots are from my previous build, they are just a lot of resistances like triple all res, movement speed, life um, and pretty much nothing else and then AOE and a bit of physical damage taken as elemental damage on a, on a helmet. For the defenses I got only two things, block which I actually still need to raise a bit more and also determination and I do have watch aside for determination plus clarity, uh, this is just to have a chance to recover mana. I, by the way this build started with the Kitava's first idea but if you're thinking about doing Kitava's first with cremation explosions don't do it because what happened is I was uh, uh, using a nerf with 100 mana to proc Kitava's first uh, and uh, in the Kitava's first I had volatile dead although you could also use uh, like that and dead but I, I just did not leave any corpses because cremation just destroys corpses so I pretty much did not even benefit from the Kitava's first and I, I couldn't even sustain mana so I just dropped that idea and then fully focused on the cremation which made the build a lot less interesting to me. This, this is another reason why I got bored of this build and quit this sooner than I expected. So yeah I still wanted to make a video uh, to show how I scale this build if you are like wondering maybe you didn't know that the corpse explosion doesn't scale with spell damage and spell modifiers and yeah that's kind of it I think. It's not the cheapest build because the Alice Malefaction it's like four or five divines, six linked. Okay, six divines, four, six linked. And then all quality cremation, I think, was not that expensive. Okay, it is uh, around one divine. And all quality NF was expensive. Yeah, around one and a half divines as well. So it's not even cheap build. The damage can be, I think, good, but there aren't that many cases where you can, like, uh, just face tank and unload all the damage that you can. You cannot really face tank with this build, so in the end, it, it's kind of a failed build, I would say. Even in my book, this is kind of a failed build. So yeah, I actually decided the next build, and it's gonna be a weird one. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna work out well enough, but it will be Held of Thunder Chieftain. And it's gonna be lighting, it's not gonna be fire or anything. The reason behind that is that it's gonna be tanker and I won't need impulse explosions because Chieftain has explosions, there are tattoos for explosions. So I will see if that is possible to do a Held of Thunder Chieftain that has okay-ish damage for bossing and okay-ish clear, maybe even great clear speed without impulse explosions. So yeah, we're gonna see about that. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.